finishing touches on an order. Um, a lovely lady named Kat has ordered a toddler size hat and she requested to have two pom-poms um, because I shared a little snippet that I made one for my daughter in my stories on Instagram and she just about died. So here is a custom color and also two pom-poms for her little. Um, I needed to finish off and add the tag as well. Um, pro tip for anyone that uses tags, use a chip clip and it will make your life so much easier. Your label won't move around. I added the um, instruction label, um, washing instructions, and then we're done. To make high quality earring cards, I order these on Vistaprint and I get them by the thousands. And then I use this hole punch I got off of Amazon and shakazula, done. Hi everyone, I've been waiting for over a month for my new boxes to come in and they are here finally! I am so excited about these new boxes because they are magnetic so they can be closed and opened really easily. One thing that I think is really cool is the bow. It has the elastic band in the back so you can just strap it right on the box. This will make your job a lot easier if you want to use this as a gift box. I want you to know I have a small business though it may be small My products hit different yet yeah, if you shop small you see a big difference So come on let's go If you want to support I can copy link it makes a big difference much more than you think My 12 year old sister was inspired to start her own business And I wanted to show you guys the handmade crystal rings that she can make And how hard she's been working on her first collection I taught her how to take product pictures and she used me as one of her hand models and she's actually looking for some more on tiktok this is her uploading it on the website and i'm honestly so proud of her hello today i'm working on restocking my most popular pair of macrame earrings and i thought i'd bring you along with me and show you how i make them so to start with, I get my cord. For earrings, I use 1.5 millimeter single twist cord because it brushes out really beautifully. And then I attach them on and make sure they're nice and secure, ready to start knotting. This is then the fiddly slash time consuming part because you wanna make sure each knot is really neat and secure so that they look perfect when they're finished. So once I've finished knotting and I'm happy that they're all tight enough and secure, then it's time to start brushing them out. This bit is so satisfying, but very fluffy. So I usually wear a face mask, otherwise it all ends up going up my nose. Then I trim them to the shape and size that I want and secure any loose ends. And then finally I finish by adding my charms. These ones have got little sun charms and then they are finished. Spam my phone so my parents think I'm famous. Spam, 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 spam,
I am having trouble blowing up my small business so if this is on your for you page please interact with it. My thoughts when making a case from the new collection release. Start this printer. One of my favorite designs. Oops haha. Paste it properly. Pretty. OMG not again. Yay it looks so good. These are handmade, hope many people can get them. Let's give the red one.